this is not my usual content, so if you're only here for your math, language, and logic videos, go ahead and watch a different video. I'll just link another one right here. This is because some of you guys, hindi naman lahat, pero a bunch of you enjoyed yung aking video on my Funko Pop mystery box haul from Kramer Toy Warden. And honestly, uh, kakagaling ko lang sa day one ng toy con sa SMX dito sa MOA. So I'll roll a few clips of what happened now. is basically an annual gathering well so far annual siya an annual gathering of geeks nerds like me and yung mga artists and toy makers from all around the globe and uh, first time ko na pumunta sa toy con so i'm really grateful that i got to do that this year and marami ring mga deals doon doon sa mga toy stores marami mga buy to get one free buy one take one and uh, with me being matipid at medyo nerdy nga Sabi ko, okay, that's a great chance for me to kind of gather some more members ng aking Funko Pop and co toy collection family dito sa room. So again, thank you so much sa inyong lahat who keep supporting my content and also for those who send money for, for me to buy stuff for myself. So thank you so much for you guys for enabling my, enabling my passion. Let's call it a passion. Anyway, as I said sa thumbnail dito sa video na ito, we're going to pit two... Um, companies na my mystery or blind boxes against each other. We have Bully Boy right here. And then, itong tatlong to galing sa Kramer Toy Warden. So, we're going to see kung saang shop ako mas ma -serte or ma palad. And we're going to do that at the end of the video. Now, before we go to that, I'm going to first show you some of the stuff that I got from yung Toy Con. Now, let me show th you this first. This is a uh, Star Wars na pop housewares ni Han Solo tsaka ni Greedo. It's a salt shaker na pepper shaker. If you're not aware of yung scene na to sa movie sa Star Wars, may, basically may stand off sila. It's an entire thing. It's an inside joke din for you guys who follow Star Wars so hindi ko na masyadong um, i-explain yun. Pero basically, salt and pepper shaker sila, cheap ng Funko Pop. So hindi lang siya basta toy, magagamit nyo talaga siya. Sa bahay. Now, bakit ito ang una kong pinakita sa inyo? Kasi at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you instructions on how you can get a chance to win these right here. So again, yes, ipapamigay ko to sa inyo, ipapaship ko sa inyo. Yan. 
So, uh, may isa sa inyong mananalo dito. So, if you're interested dito, stay until the end of the video, okay? So, that's the first thing muna. Now, this pop right here is a Wonder Woman na DC Superheroes na original. Number 8. Um, it's just one of the things na nasa uh, mga piles. Meron kasi nga yung mga buy to get one free. Tapos nung nakita ko to, sabi ko I had to get it. Yeah, so ito yung mga original na mga Funko Pop. If you notice, classic yung pinaka-mode niya. Wala masyadong detailed na work. Pero ito yung original na parang body na sculpt. Nakatayo lang sila usually. So, sobrang classic. I had to get it in my collection. At saka, mahilig talaga ako sa mga heroines ng, alam nyo yun, ng... DC Universe siya Marvel Universe. So, I collect Captain Marvel. At syempre, yung Wonder Woman na rin. So, with her is yung pinaka-updated na version, kind of, ng Wonder Woman. This right here, if you see, sobrang magkaiba, magkaiba sila. Kasi ito, sobrang detailed naman niya. This is from the movie na Wonder Woman. It's from a line of, well, maraming mga klase na mga Wonder Woman na iba-iba yung armor. But I like this one specifically because of the shield and the sword. So, yun. Parang, if you look, di ba, sa dalawa, again, di ba, parang, pareho silang Wonder Woman, pero magkaibang magkaiba yung iteration ng artists na gumawa sa kanila. So, I just really love these two. Okay? Now, for my next two pops, I'm going to need a little bit of magic. And if you are a pottery head like me, you probably know what I'm talking about. Actual Funkos. Yan. Thank you, magic. And uh, these are my next two pops. Harry Potter again, buy to get one free. Super discounted na price. Pero I love these two kasi I've been looking for them for some time. Medyo mahilap na hanapin. This is Luna Love Good. Okay? Who is one of my favorite characters sa buong Harry Potter na book. At uh, book series at movies Then I can relate to her. Actually, kasi kung hindi ako Gryffindor, Ravenclaw ako. Actually, I sort as Ravenclaw, pero dahil Gryffindor yung twin sister ko, I will probably end up as a Gryffindor. So, Gryffindor by choice, pero Ravenclaw by personality. So, I love Luna Love Good. I love this one. So, I'm still looking for yung my glasses, pero alam ko sobrang expensive nun. Maybe pag mayaman ako, tsaka ako na siya bibilin. Uh, and this one right here is Professor McGonagall na naka-cat form siya. So, yung kanyang cat form. Sobrang, sobrang grill nga din to, special edition. Pero sobrang mura niya. Uh, discounted siya. Honestly, kung hindi na mo impression niya sa Funko app compared dun sa kung ano yung binayaran ko for her, it's so ridiculous. Pero yeah, I, I love it. So, ilalagay ko siya sa tabi ni Hedwig uh, dun sa aking uh, parang maliit na cubby hole dun for all my uh, Harry Potter na Funko Pops. Now, my next two pops are very special to me kasi ito yung sa mga favorite ko rin na animated na movie series, yung How to Train Your Dragon. And favorite ko talaga si Toothless ever since. Tsaka yung dynamic nila ni Hiccup. Uh, I love the movie kasi yung theme lang ng inclusion, ng kung paano if we understand each other, we could build an entire society. Preservation din ng mga animals and ng nature in general. A lot of the themes dun sa movie series na yun, nakaka-relate ako and I love these two. So, I got this one. This is Toothless. It's a little special kasi ito yung parang medyo metallic na version. Um, but again, super sale. Fill bars ko siya, sila. Halos lahat kinuha. Sobrang mura doon. Honestly, buti alam aga kami kasi nung pagbalik namin nung mandang hapon, sobrang haba na ng line at saka halos wala na rin. Kasi sobrang ridiculous nung baba ng presyo nito. So, ayan. I'm happy I got this. I actually got one of these but I gave it to a friend. And, uh, yun. So, now I have one of my own. And this one right here is a Night Fury. Ito yung partner ni Toothless kasi if you haven't seen yung Hidden World spoiler alert, they do end up uh, together. This is the Light Fury na glittered na version. And yun, so matching pair na sila ngayon. Now, on to the biggest na purchase na ginawa ko. This is honestly something na sabi ko, gusto ko talagang makuha. Pero alam ko kasi na sa dami ng may gusto, malabo na makakuha ako. But I'm really happy kasi I think probably naligaw yung mga gustong bumili. Or hindi sila nakapunta kasi Friday, day one ako pumunta, nauna ako. And that is this. So, this is yung Tiny Ghost na Philippines edition. Painted siya sa colors ng ating flag. So, uh, red, white, blue, and then yung yellow na sun and stars. And yeah, sobrang excited ko na I have this finally. I've always wanted to have a Tiny Ghost. Dati pa, bago-bago uh, pa yung Tiny Ghost kasi just to customize. Pero, 
Yun, I never got the time and of course yung budget din for that. So when I saw na this was sitting pa, nung pumunta kami doon, sabi ko I had to get one and I got it. So I'm really happy for it. Um, this is going to be on display in my room for the rest of my life, basically. Okay, so ito yung Tiny Ghost. Hindi ko na siya bubuksan. Um, maybe if you want, we'll just do another video for that if you want to see what's inside. Pero basically, it's a collectible toy statuette. And it's basically a work of art. So I'm really happy to see the integration of colors. If you want to see me open this box, let me know. Like this video. If you get maybe 200 likes on this video, I will make a separate video opening this box to show you what the shura is in the loob. Alright? Now let's get to the exciting stuff. We're going to open the mystery boxes. So let's start with the mga sa Bully Boy muna. So I pre-cut this already. So I'm just going to show you what the laman. Let's open this box. There. All right. All right. So this is well, nothing to really celebrate about, um, but it's a very decent na pop. This is Snowball na naka super suit from the Secret Life of Pets Part Two. So if um, you see right here, yung paint naman is very decent. Maganda naman. Metallic din yung paint na ginamit nila. So plus points yon. Pero I don't necessarily collect this line. So if any of you are interested. Let me know, and I would probably just trade this or sell it. Now, on to the second box from Bully Boy. It's this one right here, so let's open it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So, this is Michi from Smallfoot. Again, <laughs> not familiar. Uh, alam ko animated film siya. I'm not sure. I think it's Anna Kendrick, ba? Na nagbosses nung isa sa mga characters. Yeah, but I haven't seen the movie. I don't have uh, enough information to form an opinion. Again, common sha, walang well, sticker, walang well, anything special about it. So, I guess you could say uh, my luck isn't too good sa bully boy na collectible. So, uh, yeah, medyo <laughs> so so lang, chill lang. Now let's see how we'll do dun sa draw ng Kramer Toy Warden. Okay, so we have this one right here. Now, um, one thing to take note of would be yung Bully Boy kasi comes in yung mga box nila na sarili na may sarili lang print. This one sa Kramer actually comes in a boss protector if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it, it comes in a boss protector. So, by itself, I think, yeah, costly na siya, I think, 35 to 50 pesos. So, medyo bawi naman tayo sa larangan na yun. Hopefully lang, we get something naman na maganda, sticker, chrome, or anything na special. Huwag naman sana common, okay? So, itong una is... Okay. This is Elmer Fudd from Looney Tunes. Yeah, so I think it's okay. I did watch Looney Tunes growing up. So, si Elmer Fudd is a good character naman. But again, I don't collect the line. So, um, I think okay lang. Chill lang. So, nothing to be excited for. Nakaka-sad naman. Parang napaka-anticlimactic naman ng video na ito. Pero, well, I'm just speak speaking the truth. So, this is Elmer Fudd. Naka-gold naman siya na parang armor. Na metallic. So, good paint. Uh, just not my not my line. Okay, so that's the first one. So so far, medyo uh, uh, wala wala tayo masadong ikaninaliligaya ng gusto. Um, there's actually a blind bag then from bull from Big Boy's Toy Store. Kailang five thousand pesos yon. Tapos may Jollibee Funko Pop. So sabi ko, eh, may Jollibee na rin naman ako common sa kabarong. So yeah, I was thinking kung ilerisk ko pero wag na lang pala kasi yun masadong paring rich yung five thousand for me. So, we'll stick with these ones. Okay? So, ito yung next from Kramer Toy Warden. Oh, please, please, please. Please. Kahit anong maganda naman sana. Mm, ayoko na tingnan. Oh. Oh, well. Again, I don't follow the line. I don't play Fortnite. So, this is Rex. But one thing, naman, uh, these two are good for yung mga protectors nila. So gaba ka gabi kano yung protector, ilipat ko na sa ibang ibang pop ko. Um, so this is my last chance, number fourteen. Now, bakit number fourteen? Kasi nakita ko, kasi wala nang fifteen. Fifteen was my jersey number. Thirteen yung jersey number na kakambal ko. Fourteen is the jersey number ng katriplets namin. Si Ate Dang Dang. Tapos nakita ko parang naalala ko lang siya. So kaya ako kinuha yung number fourteen. So yun lang yung significance nun. So again, 
Hopefully. Please. Pag ito unknown character na naman from an unknown series, ewan ko na lang. Well, wala namang hindi man ewan ko na lang, pero saan lang? Ah, Fortnite pa rin. Well, so Fortnite High Rise Assault Trooper, if any of you guys are into Fortnite, these are definitely going to be up for sale. I, I, I don't know this. I'm not interested. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so again, not not my thing, not my jam. Alright, so it's just a common uh, na high rise assault tro uh, 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 It's just a common na high rise assault trooper from Fortnite. So it's going to go straight into the pile. And so again, uh, mm, eh, medyo L tayo dyan. Pero okay lang. I think the fun is in the opening. And again, like I said, I'm going to use the protectors for my other more valuable pops and uh, these will be definitely up for trade or sale so again that's okay um ang advice ko lang would be this if you are interested in doing that or kung gusto niyo mag blind box or gusto niyo na mag order na anything like from Lazada mga mystery boxes or anything like that make sure that you're not spending money that you need um you kuha kayo dun sa parang fun fund ninyo so it's a little bit of what i do then um, basically, I set aside part of my income as my fun fund. So, dun ko kinuha yung travel expenses, kung gusto kong bumiyahe, kung magtutour, uh, panlibre sa family, pambili ng toys. So, hindi siya masakit sa bulsa kasi uh, hindi siya nakakapekto sa pambayad ng credit card, ng bills, or anything na important na kailangan pagkagasusan. So, hindi rin siya kasama sa emergency fund or anything like that. So, if you want to, like, spend money on toys like this or start collecting, make sure lang that you have everything that you need squared away before you go out and buy stuff that you want. Again, all the time, needs muna bago wants. Alright? Now, buying all of these was not actually the best thing about my experience sa ToyCon. There was a different type ng purchase na naganap. And the kasama nun was uh, that I got the chance to meet one of my childhood heroes. That is Paul Medina, the author of, you know it, Pogad Baboy. So Paul Medina Jr. actually saved me and a bunch of my batchmates. Alam niyan kung tiga kabatch ko isa kaysa you know, sa boredom, uh, for a lot of well, hours, pinapaulit-ulit namin yung mga Pugad Baboy. I guess, during that time, 1 to 13 pa lang yata yun. Pero now, 1 to 31 na siya. So, uh, basically, I got two books. This is yung 31st, I think, one of the more recent ones, if not the most recent one. And I got this, which is yung uh, 30th anniversary, anniversary special. Yung triple X na, na Pugad Baboy. Um, kasi, well, triple X kasi 10, 10, 10, diba? X is the Roman numeral for 10. And I got to meet the guy. And the first time, honestly, to see him, because the entire time, he was just so happy to be there. Uh, which actually still proves the point if you're working sa bagay na you're passionate about, you're having fun, it will show. Kasi honestly, ang saya-saya niya lang, diba? Ang saya-saya lang the entire time. Kung nandun kayo, makikita niyo. And yun, so I got him to sign both of these. This one is for my twin sister, so she doesn't know yet. Pero, yan. Yan. So, medong signature. And, this one for me is really special because he actually drew on it. See? <laughs> he drew on it. And, yan. Nakakatawa lang. Sabi niya, may the pork be with you. Nakakatawa. Well, app na app. Sa yaman din lamang mahilig ako sa samgyupsal, no? Pero, yes, so I'm really looking forward to reading this and this then. And, yeah, so thank you so much, uh, Sir Paul Medina Jr., for your spending time with all of us, your adoring fans. Honestly, nung dumating kami, kakabukos-bukos lang yata ng booth. So, wala pa masyadong pila. Tapos, people started parang crowding in. Tapos, na, ano na, parang nung pag-alis namin, mahaba na yung pila. So, sakto rin talaga yung dating namin doon sa area na yun. Happy and happy pa siya, tsaka hindi pa nagmamadali. So, yun, maka, may time kami to to talk a little bit. So, sabi ko sa kanya, alam niyo po ba yung kanta ninyo about yung yung Christmas Christmas jingle? 
about Shabu hanggang ngayon tumatakbo siya sa isip namin. Siya kinakanta namin magkakapatid. So, if you've read yung Pugad Baboy, you probably know that song. Pero hindi ko nakakantain sa inyo, guys. No? Ano yun? Parang anti-drug na jingle to the tune of uh, Jingle Bells. So, nakakatawa talaga yung song na yun. Anyway, so, ito yung highlight, honestly, ng Toycon experience. For me, kasi without that, I wouldn't have met the guys. Alright, so like I promised you guys, I'm going to give this away to you. So, uh, isa sa inyo mananalo. So, all you have to do would be to comment sa baba. Okay? So, like this video, comment sa baba. Follow me on Instagram at likeamaravilla. And uh, I'm going to send this over to you. Ang nagko-comment nyo sa baba would be kung tiga saan kayo, banda sa Pilipinas. And let me know kung alin sa lahat ng mga bagay na pinakita ko sa inyo ang favorite ninyo. So, which of these toys, pops, or collectibles ang favorito ninyo? And uh, one of you guys will win this. I will have it shipped to you guys. Alright? So, thank you so much. And uh, yes, we are on our way. Ano na to, road to 300k. And thank you so much sa inyong lahat who've been with me since the beginning ng channel to in 2015. I have a special place in my heart for all of you guys. I know my heart is very big kasi ang dami ninyo. Pero, um, yeah, I'm always surprised sa growth ng team. Not just in numbers, but also even sa depth ng character. So I'm really proud of you guys and all we stand for. Let's just keep learning. As I always say, never stop learning. Aja, aja, kainyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.